What's good, YouTube? It's your man, it's your boy, Lane Jackson, back at you guys. Today is August 15th. It's Monday. Um, woke up this morning, did my morning cardio as usual. So today's workout is chest. Uh, I'm gonna do some chest, probably some calves and abs as well. Um, so, sent my weight in to my coach. Of course, my weight is still staying the same. I'm sitting at 190.8, has not moved at all. So today he wants me to do 50 grams of carbs before my workout and 50 grams of carbs after with my meals. So breakfast consists of 49 grams of potatoes, 49 grams of carbs, and then we have uh, 53 grams of protein with eggs. We got 10 egg whites, two whole eggs, and then we have 10 and a half ounces, I believe it measured out to be for 49 grams of carbs. So. I know it seems like a lot of food, but to be honest with you, when you're eating clean, um, you really don't feel as full as you, you uh, think. So I'm gonna eat this and then chill for about an hour and then get ready to hit the gym and I'll record the workout today. This time I'm gonna talk about the workouts, um, basically explain the reason why I'm doing the workouts. I know normally I just put music in the background, but I'm gonna change it up so you guys can get a better understanding. So. I'll check in with you guys later on. Get ready to hit the gym. Shoes of choice. My Jordan 1s. I squat knees. I work out knees a lot. These are actually some good shoes to squat in. I know a lot of you sneakerheads are going to be like, why are you working out in your gym shoes? And my question to you, or my question to you guys is, why not? You know what I'm saying? They're better than sitting in the boxes. Um, plus, you know, ain't nothing wrong with having a couple pair, you know, a couple pair of J's rocking the gym. So, going to put these on. Today, we're not doing a... Uh, squats but we're gonna do some chest uh but we're gonna rock the jays today y'all just got to the gym in the elevator heading upstairs today we're gonna crush some chest uh we're gonna change things up a little bit uh, one thing if you keep doing the same thing and not seeing results it's time to change it up so we're gonna change the workout a little bit just maybe change the the rotation i do exercises maybe just do different exercises today so we're gonna go ahead and get it. We're gonna get these gains. We gotta get some physique right. About to get this workout started. So before I get into the chest workout, I'm gonna just start off with some dips. So instead of trying to record it, because the area they have the dip machine is kind of tight and the angle for the camera viewers is sucks. So doing four sets of dips to failure, all right? The goal is to hit around 15 to 20 reps if possible, just to warm up the tries. It does warm up your shoulders a little bit and your chest. So we're gonna do that first and then we're gonna get into the first exercise, all right? So let's go ahead and get it. All right, y'all, so getting into the very first exercise, decided to start this workout off with barbell incline chest press. Um, lately, I've been actually doing it with um, dumbbells first. So basically, I just wanna switch up the routine, um, switch up the exercise I use. So I decided to use barbell. So basically what I did was a pyramid set, increasing the weight each set. Started off with uh, 135 for about 12 to 15 reps. Um, before that, I actually did two warm-up sets, and before that, I did dips. Um, then I went to 185. The goal here is to try to get eight to 10 reps as well. Like I said, increasing the weight each set, um, just keeping the volume high, keeping the rest in between sets short. I try to rest no, later, no longer than 45 seconds to one minute. And um, I got the hoodie on because I just want to get a good sweat, keep my body warm. But uh, probably halfway through the workout, I will take the hoodie off once I get really, really hot and warm. So after this set, I finally got into 205. Again, we're going for max reps. So the goal is to get around six to eight. I would say four to eight. Um, when you're lifting weight like this, guys, it's best to have a spotter. Uh, especially if you don't know your weight lifting limits. For me, I know my limits so I can do a lot of lifting on my own. And sometimes when I'm pushing out one of those reps, I can tell myself that I might as well go ahead and rack it, which I did there. If I had a spot, I would have went for two more. So my last set is 225. Um, again, same thing. When you're lifting heavy weight, you know, know your limits. If you don't know your limits, just stay safe or just ask somebody in the gym, a random person to spot you. Um, but I know my limits. Um, if I had somebody to spot, I could have easily asked somebody to spot me, but my main goal was to see what I can really just get on my own. So that was the very first exercise. Then the last set, 
um, drop the weight all the way back down to the starting weight and we're going for around 15 to 20 reps. So basically like a burnout fatigue set. Um, the weight feels light, but after you bang out about the first seven, eight reps, it starts feeling heavy. So um, basically I did a burnout set and I think I went for 15 reps on this one. I cannot remember. Um, if, you, if you guys want to count it, you're more than welcome. But I think I got 15, over 15. It might have been like 17, I believe. When you're, when you're ready to be done, man, you lose count after about 12, 15 reps. But I definitely know I got over 15 reps. All right, coming into the next exercise, we're doing a, a pec deck. Um, this whole workout, my goal was to do a pressing movement, movement and then a, a fly movement. So I do a pressing movement and then a fly movement. Um, this exercise right here is an exercise I love. This exercise helped me develop my chest um, at a young age. This is what I used to do a lot. So a lot of people always ask me, how did I develop my chest? But I used to always do this, and my chest was one of those body parts as well developed. So I did this for about four sets of 12 to 15, increasing the weight. Then we went into machine uh, flat bench press. Normally I do barbell, but like I said, I'm just changing it up. And actually I have the full stack. I think it was 220 and it still was kind of light, but um, I just increased the reps, uh, kept a little tension on the um, muscle. And I love using the machines because it helps keep that form in check and it just allows you to focus on actually working your muscles instead of trying to stabilize the actual uh, weight. Then we went to another fly. Um, this one is similar to the pec deck, but it's cables. With cables, it does require you to use a little bit more muscle. So I actually feel like you get more tension on the cables. And I also use put my hands at a different angle, a slight angle when I'm doing these. And I love using this cable machine for flies. Um, and I did around four sets again, 12 to 15 reps as well. All right, y'all, so coming into the very last exercise, doing hammer strength, uh, incline press. Uh, really been focusing on a lot of incline presses um, the past five months, six months, because I want to develop my upper chest. And again, with this exercise, the goal is to definitely pyramid up when weight. Of course, the sets are going to drop and then do a drop set as well. And um, I was pretty much done after this exercise. Hey, also, just got done lifting weights. Now it's time to hit the post workout cardio 20 minutes cardio. Then we're going to head to the house, eat post workout meal. The boy, getting lean. I know y'all see it coming slowly but surely, but it's coming. I just finished prepping my meals for the day and I just finished cooking my post-workout meal or heating it up. So this is my post-workout meal right here. We got six and a half ounces of chicken breast, um, pan seared, pan cooked, whatever. It was already pre-cooked, so all I did was heat it up in the pan and put a splash, just a little bit, guys, of barbecue sauce on there just for flavor. This is what will mess you up, guys, if you flood your food and barbecue sauce, ketchup, stuff like that. So just a little bit, probably... This is maybe a teaspoon right there. And then we have 10 and a half ounces of potato, potatoes, roasted potatoes, which equals 49 grams of carb, all right? So I'm about to eat this post-workout meal. And then I also have two other meals for the day, which are already prepped. Um, we got six and a half ounces of chicken breast again, and then we have some vegetables. Um, so I'll be eating these two along with a protein shake for the day. So I'm about to go ahead and eat my post-workout meal, edit some YouTube videos, or edit a video, finish editing a video, so I can get ready to start working on this video that we're recording now. So I'll see you guys later.